Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's phenomenal and I'm really grateful. And I suppose, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, this job for a long time. And it's, you know, you start because you've got a fire in your belly and you've got things to say and you want to communicate important things. Um, and then by the time you get to my time of life, you sort of, you kind of hope that you entertain people a bit and at least it doesn't do any harm. And um, so for Mr. Bates versus the post office to have just, I suppose I feel proud of the audience that, you know, to have made people that angry and activated people so much. It makes me really, really proud of, of them and, it just makes me feel like we've we've done the job of communicating. It's very rare to feel like you're perhaps making a difference in real time. You rarely get that. You you might find out years later, for example, that somebody's, you know, been to a show of yours or something and that it's really affected them. Um, but, you know, for it to actually... Uh, create this kind of phenomenon in, in real time is, is, is a new one on me and it's, it's nice at my age. Oh God, it's surreal and thrilling. Um, we, we only set out to allow the sub postmasters to feel heard. That was our stated intent. We, as I think Monica has put it best, we, we didn't, we only, we were only supposed to, blow the bloody doors off we didn't realize that that the show would have this effect with thrill that it has um but the most important thing is they feel heard now they really feel heard now so that's but for us that's the greatest reward but this is lovely too